Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Dr. Smith is in the house with you today. Pray that all is well with all my Periscope family. Excited about what is going on in the world and about my life and your life, the church. There's some great things on the horizon. Great things. I don't think we realize, my Lord, how phenomenal God is that we serve. Hey, I'm telling you, uh, look at the sign behind me my wife put up. I can do all things through Christ which strengtheneth me. Amen. And I'll tell you what, it's really important. We have been dealing, I want to quickly get into the verse this morning. We have been dealing with the scripture that Paul wrote in the Corinthians, 1 Corinthians 2 and 9. But as it is written, I have not seen it. We've been dealing with just that part to this point. Uh, if you're new to Dr. Michael Smith, you'll understand that I, I take my time. I don't rush through a verse uh, because there's so much to dissect and so much to see and to have revealed to our relationship in, in such, in even one word, that sometimes it takes time. I personally have watched uh, an autopsy and uh, watched, went through uh, many surgeries watching them and I personally have seen these things, and they don't rush through it. They take their time. They inspect. They examine. They, when they get inside of a human body, even doing a surgery, they they take their time. Got to open a window to get some air. <laughs> they they take their time, and they uh, allow. Uh, their, that purpose to be totally fulfilled. Would you go get my spray? Please excuse me talking to my lovely wife. But he said, I have not seen. Now it's important that we, when we get a hold of this thought because we have learned, and I'll just recap very quickly, the eye is the faculty of knowing. And knowing is translated in the Hebrew language. It means to be intimate. It literally uses, utilizes the phrase intercourse. Uh, so it's important that I hath not. We have not been intimate with the things that God has for us. He said, I hath not seen. When you look at the word seen in the Greek, it's translated and it means to experience. So it's important that I'm going to have to go upstairs or something because you're smoking, smoking the house. Is the fan on? Let's see if we can get through this. I, it, it's important that, that's okay, baby. Uh, it's important that we understand that I is the faculty of knowing, the faculty of, of so it, this is more than just seeing something. And you know, but the reality is, how can you walk somewhere where you haven't seen? How can you live in something that you haven't seen? But Paul said, look at the things which are not seen. Uh, so how do you see something you can't see? I mean, it all links together. It's having the eyes here. And we're going to deal this morning with seven eyes. The Bible said in Ephesians 1 and 18, having the eyes of your, just type on the screen, my, having the eyes of your understanding enlightened. In other words, uh, brought alive, revived, refreshed, renewed. So he goes on and he said, Let's go to Ephesians 1 and 18 and let's look there. And I want to show you there are seven things that have to be brought alive in your life and in the body of Christ before we're able to experience and acknowledge the greatness that God has in our life. See, we've not even begin to imagine. We've not even begin to uh, uh, identify the greatness that God has. We, we still struggle with such minute things. We still battle with such simple things. And God has simply said, I want you to grab a hold of this, that greater is He. Greater is He. If we can just change the mindset and we would quit being devil conscious and quit talking devil, 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 and realize that the Bible said greater is He. 
that is in me than he that is in the world. The Bible said in Isaiah, no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper. And every tongue that rises against me, we shall condemn. You shall. So Ephesians is the key. It, it, it lets us know that there is something that has to happen. And there's more than just one eye. God wants many facets of the relationship with him brought alive, renovated, restored. David said, created me or restore unto me the joys of thy salvation. So he goes on, he said, the eyes of your understanding between allergies and smoke, I can't breathe. <laughs> the eyes of your understanding being enlightened. I want to deal with your understanding this morning has seven eyes. And those seven things, seven is the number of spiritual perfection. And I want you to understand this morning that I'm going to have to close this. I really am sorry, but I, I'm not able to breathe and, and it's, it's affecting me. And, and I'm going to have to come back at a later time and we'll deal with this. But uh, I will come back. I do apologize. Please forgive me. God bless you.